Hi, my name is Danielle Kokachak, and I am a student in the Master of Arts in Psychology program with a focus on organizational development and change at Adler University's online campus. So recently, I was a participant in the MIT COVID-19 Hackathon, which is a 48-hour challenge to develop solutions to some of the most pressing problems identified uh, as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. I joined the challenge alone, but I ended up on a team of six women uh, who are located across the United States and Canada. And together over the weekend, we designed and prototyped a web-based solution to address the rising risk of domestic abuse happening as a result of stay-at-home orders. So the goal of our product is to help survivors assess their situation and streamline their connection to resources and support in their area uh, in a safe and secure manner. So we pitched our product to judges and MIT partners and we were selected to move forward. Uh, so with some funding and support, continued support from MIT, our team is now working to make the solution a reality. So why is this work important during the pandemic? As partners and families are forced into closed quarters for longer periods of time as a result of stay-at-home orders, the conditions for domestic abuse to occur are just exacerbated. Uh, and with COVID-19, people may be at greater risk of experiencing domestic violence, and some people may be experiencing it for the very first time. And our team recognizes that identifying uh, one's experience with domestic violence and then disclosing the experience and then seeking help and making a safety plan uh, is a process that sometimes takes months or even years. And so our product really seeks to reduce the barriers to that process uh, and help people through it using a digital platform that will be there now during the pandemic and after. Uh, so needless to say, domestic violence is a really complex social issue. And one of the many ways that my education from Adler University has helped inform this work is being able to look at the problem through a deeply intersectional and social justice oriented lens uh, to ensure that we account for multiple, multiple experiences and systemic barriers uh, as we move forward in the research development and content design process. Uh, and additionally, as we continue to work on and build a team of people that's completely remote, none of us have ever met before, um, I've used my knowledge of organizational development and team building to help ensure that structures are in place and communication is in place where our team feels connected, heard, and really able to work together effectively toward designing our solution. Uh, I feel really lucky to have gotten this opportunity and work with these incredible women towards designing something that might help people.